Hi guys, uh, RM Racing Electronics here. Um, doing a small video to show you uh, a little bit about the electronic throttle control and idle control um, with RM by Ms. Andaloni CEO. So if you go to the electronic throttle control menu, uh, this will only show if you have an RM Prime with electronic throttle, it will not show if you don't. The first page, you have the gauges, um, have a lot of um, important variables all shown in real time. Uh, you have error codes here, if you put your mouse above it, you will see what they mean. At the moment, we don't have uh, any error codes, but we can try to simulate here. Uh, so in here, so it two, two, uh, if you, when you place your mouse above it, um, you will be able to see what this represents. Um, now, back to normal. If you go to settings, uh, you have some fail-safe features and PID, okay? Uh, you can also do the throttle uh, pedal calibration and the throttle, uh, the electronic throttle body calibration itself. You can also do the PID Auto tune. Okay, if you click on the auto tune button, you will see that this is going to return a value. Okay, you have the maximum control for idle, so this is how much the idle control algorithm uh, will be allowed to change the position, the target of the of the throttle body, uh, in order to uh, control the engine idle, uh, idle speed. Uh, maximum board temperature, uh, and the current limiting, and maximum and minimum uh, position um, deviation tolerance. If you go to tuning, uh, first you will see the main target table, okay? And uh, if you click on feed forward, you have the holding table, which is the amount of PWM signal required to achieve these targets. And um, so this is the position of the, ele the electronic throttle body, and this is the amount of PWM required to achieve that, okay? Here we have um, the calibration for our feed forward error correction. Uh, the feed forward is very, uh, error correction is very important to try to account for possible um, errors, uh, fast throttle transition and all of that. And we'll try to compensate um, the holding um, table, uh, try to um, keep the target error to a minimum, as you can see on the bottom. We can also see the motor current. Now we're gonna have a look at the idle control. So if we click here in idle, uh, here we have uh, the main target table. Uh, for now, let's put this to 950. And if you click on overview, you have uh, the selection of the open loop or closed loop control. Here we have uh, the closed loop control selected. Um, you have many other tables and options. Uh, some of them will only be used when you are using uh, an idle valve solenoid, which you can select here. Um, but uh, we are using electronic uh, throttle body, so we're gonna use the idle um, through the electronic throttle body. Uh, you can also uh, set uh, the maximum uh, pedal uh, value, so the percentage of uh, your pedal, uh, which will allow uh, or not the idle control to engage. So here, we, our idle will be engaged when the pedal is 5% or below, okay? At the moment, we don't have, um, we don't have uh, RPM on the engine. I'm gonna add RPM now, so we can see what happens. So, okay, so now we have uh, RPM value. Um, so you see our throttle position at the moment is the value that you can see here on the monitor on the right. Uh, our target um, is uh, below the actual RPM. Uh, so we're gonna increase this and you will see what happens. So we're gonna increase this to 1500. You'll see that the uh, throttle position uh, value will increase to try to raise the idle. Uh, speed of the engine, obviously we are uh, we are with a static RPM of 1000 and nothing is gonna happen with the RPM. It's gonna stay static, but you at, at the same time, you can see uh, what happens with the target throttle position um, and, uh, and the effects. So uh, if you reduce this back to 950, we'll see that we're gonna, uh, the, we're gonna have the throttle body closing. 
Um, here we have the, the PID settings. I have these in uh, kind of slow so you can see uh, the throttle positioning uh, percentage going up and down uh, slowly. Um, obviously, we can adjust the RPM, uh, the PID option to be much faster. Uh, here, the output limits, this is uh, like uh, to control, um, stipulate the maximum uh, percentage. Uh, this is very important for idle valves. You can limit the PWM so it uh, works uh, within safe values. Um, we also have the ignition control, uh, which is very important to keep the idle nice and smooth. Uh, and, um, we have the target position, his uh, PWM percentage. This is for when you have um, open loop um, option selected. We are on closed loop, so we disregard this. Um, okay, guys, I uh, hope this will help you. If you don't know about the RM Prime is yet, you are more than welcome to check it on our website. Uh, if you have any questions, just let us know. You can get in touch with us uh, by email. And anything you need, just get in touch. Thank you.